Hi everybody, Rob Martin here, martinviolinschool.com with another um, tip that is hopefully going to be helpful to a lot of students. I was just working with someone on Seitz Concerto number 5, the third movement, it's in Suzuki Book 4, and uh, we were working on the um, Menomoso section, the, cata the uh, Cantabile second theme from the third movement of the Seitz Concerto number five. And um, my student was having trouble uh, getting her bow changes smooth from the up bow to the down bow. Um, so, and it's, it's this passage right here. So there's a couple things happening all at once in this little chunk of music. Okay, we have a string crossing and a bow change at the same time, as well as um, what we're doing with the left hand. So um, the first thing that I'll suggest is practicing this with the bow only on one string. So let's isolate the bow change before we put the bow change together with the string crossing. So it would go, just practice on the D string here or A string, just that bit. And in order to get a smooth bow change, what needs to happen is as, the bow, as your arm changes direction, the fingers and the wrist have to keep going in that direction a little bit. So you can see my fingers and wrist follow through. They're, it's not too floppy, it's not stiff, it's just a little pliant so that you have a follow through and you have that nice smooth movement. back to just the open D string. Now, let's talk about the bow change. What needs to happen there is that the crossing of the string and the bow change have to happen at exactly the same time. Um, and what we do to smooth that out is as you're on your up bow, already start cheating with your arm, lowering your arm toward the A string gradually on that up bow so that when it's time to change bow, you've arrived at the A string. So spread out that bow change as, as long as you can and make it as slow as possible within that up bow. And that may take you a little bit of trial and error. So let's say I practice that. Oops. You can hear, I got to the A string just a little too soon. So how am I gonna fix that problem? Well, I'm gonna time the crossing just a little bit later so that, and, and see if I can line up the crossing and the bow change. Still not exactly right. That was it. And then once I, once I find that, I do that a few times, just to develop consistency and muscle memory. Now, um, let's talk about the left hand. Another essential um, component of a smooth string crossing is that the new finger, in this case it would be um, the B natural, the new finger needs to be stopping the string. In other words, the first finger needs to be down on the A string before the bow gets there. So what that means is there's gonna be a split second where you're gonna be playing a double stop. So you have your second finger down. As you're coming on your up bow, first finger needs to go down. 
so that then you can cross smoothly with the bow. If the first finger changes at the same time, there's going to be a little break in the sound. It's not going to be completely smooth. So, and I, I talk with my students about this all the time, about using double stop technique. There's always those split seconds um, during string crossings where both fingers need to be down. So then we get, so when we put all that together, the horizontal movement, the vertical movement, the slight vertical movement of the string change, and then the double stop technique, we get a nice string crossing and bow change combination. Hope that helps. Happy practicing. <laughs>